Welcome to Pimpy's Investment Chat, where we keep investment talk simple. And here's your host, Pimpy. What is going on out there, peeps? Some of us who are invested in stocks over there in Iraq. And so a lot of you are asking me good questions about how does the deletion of the zeros affect the stocks over there in Iraq. That and one of the other questions is, what is the difference between a mixed economy and a market economy, which are good questions. The one about the stock exchange is a really good question because uh, I know there's a lot of misunderstanding out there about what happens. So we're going to go over both of these and see if we can't get your questions answered, okay? Let's get into this. Before we get started, do me a favor hit the thumbs up button. If you're not a subscriber, please do so because when you do, it helps out the channel and I certainly do appreciate it. If you're thinking about buying gold and silver, head on over to our friends at Miles Franklin. The link will be down below in the description. When you make your purchase, make sure you use promo code PIMPY, P-I-M-P-Y, and they'll take care of you. If you have any additional questions, you can reach us over here at this phone number or over here at this particular email. For all orders over $10,000, reach out by email and we'll make sure that you get a great deal. So come on over to Miles Franklin and add to your precious metal inventory. Okay, let's talk about the deletion of the zeros and what happens to the stock exchange. So the question was, if Iraq deletes zeros off its currency, do they need to do the same to the stock on the ISX, which is the Iraqi stock exchange? Now, I know we're told that the deletion of the zeros comes off the exchange rate, which is wrong. It actually comes off of their currency, their banknotes. It's called a redenomination. It says, Iraq has been planning to remove three zeros from its currency as part of a redenomination process. The Central Bank of Iraq announced this decision back in 2013 with the primary objective of reducing cash transactions cost and encouraging electronic payment methods. So since 2013, they've been talking about the deletion of the zeros off the currency. They put the zeros on when inflation is really high. So now that their inflation has been kept in check now for quite a while, they're talking about removing the zeros off the currency. Nowhere in there does it say the exchange rate. It says the change does not affect the currency's value against other countries' currencies. There you go. What did it say? This change does not affect the currency's value against other countries' currency. Instead, it simplifies transactions and improves the economy's overall efficiency. Notice it says it doesn't change the Iraqi dinar's value against other countries' currencies. That would be your exchange rate. That's how you know the deletion of the zeros is not coming off the exchange rate. It's coming off the currency. So the impact, the deletion of the zeros, a redenomination would have on the ISX. It says the ISX is the primary stock exchange in Iraq, and it operates independently of the Central Bank of Iraq. The redenomination of the Iraqi dinar will not directly impact the ISX or the stocks traded on it. Stock prices are determined by market forces, such as supply and demand, company preference, and the economic condition. Therefore, any adjustment to the ISX due to currency redenomination would likely be indirect or influenced by changes in the economic policies or investors' confidence. The ISX responds to currency changes. Since currency redenomination does not inherently affect stock prices, the ISX would not need to make any changes to its stock as a direct result of this action. However, it is essential for the ISX to maintain clear communication with its stakeholders regarding any indirect consequences resulting from economic policy changes and shift in investors' confidence caused by the currency redenomination. So this has been spoken about before when they redenominate and they change the appearance of their currency, then it could cause confusion. People will think they're losing value in the currency because they see the number of zeros being removed. So if you have a 25,000 dinar and all of a sudden becomes 25, it could be confusing to people because of them. They're like, wait a minute, a bunch of zeros just popped off my notes. This must mean I have less value. That's not the case. So it's going to take a little bit for people to adjust. Once they adjust, though, things will be just fine. Now, if there's any kind of effect on the Iraqi stock exchange, would be that people might panic a little bit. 
they might be less likely to invest for a little bit until they figure out what's going on. It shouldn't take long. Last time it didn't take them very long to make the adjustment back in 2003. You know, usually within a few months, people get hip to what's going on. There's not so much panic and then things go back to normal. But the other thing about the Iraqi dinar change in the value of the stocks because they delete the zeros is not correct. There is no direct effect from the deletion of the zeros. As you can see right here, this is the ISX. This is the Iraqi stock exchange. But what do you notice about the prices? They're all done in US dollars. It's not in Iraqi dinars, they're in US dollars. So redenomination is not gonna have any effect on Iraqi stock. Now again, pay attention to what I'm saying. A redenomination will not affect the value of the stocks on the stock exchange. If they change the exchange rate against other foreign currencies, it will affect the stock prices because outside investors will see that the currency is much stronger and they might be encouraged to invest more in Iraq stocks. If the value of the Iraqi dinar increases against other currencies, would bring more cash flow into these companies that are exporting, the cost of goods coming into the country, your imports, would definitely go down because you'd have more purchasing power. Make sure you understand there's a difference between the two. Deleting the zeros off the currency will not change the price on the ISX. Changing the exchange rate will have an impact on the ISX. Not right away, but it definitely will change. Once people are educated about what just happened to their currency, you'll start to see changes happen in the stock market. So if anything, you might see a slight dip because people are uncertain about what the hell is going on if they delete the zeros versus if the exchange rate increases, then you're gonna start seeing more cash flow coming in if they do increase the value of the exchange rate. I hope that helps answer that question. There's already enough confusion out there about the deletion of the zeros. You got people out there that know their ass from a hole in the ground saying that a deletion of the zeros, which is known as a redenomination, comes off the Iraqi exchange rate. That's false. I want to make myself perfectly clear. Deletion of the zeros, lopping, or redenomination are all the same thing. All they're doing is changing the face of the banknotes. That's it. An increase or decrease of the Iraqi dinar against other foreign currency is a change in the exchange rate. That is different. So a redenomination, a lopping, does not have a direct effect on the stock exchange. An increase in the exchange rate will have an effect on the stock exchange, all right? You guys are asking me, what's the difference between a mix and a market economy? The main difference between a mixed economy and a market economy lies in the extent of the government intervention in the economy. In a mixed economy, the government plays a more active role in regulating and controlling certain aspects of the economy. While in a market economy, the government's role is limited to maintaining a level playing field and protecting property rights. In a mixed economy, the government may use various tools to achieve social and economic goals, such as reducing income inequality, ensuring fair competition, and providing essential public services. This intervention can lead to a more equitable distribution of wealth and resources, but it may also result in a less efficiency and innovation compared to a market economy. It's almost like socialism. In a market economy, the primary mechanism for coordinating economic activity is the market mechanism with minimal government intervention. This can lead to a greater efficiency and innovation as market forces drive businesses to adapt and improve to meet consumer demands. However, a market economy may also result in greater economic inequality and a lack of provisions for essential public services. So that's more like capitalism. So there you have it. I hope that helps you out. I know there's a lot of us that are invested in the Iraqi stock exchange. So redenomination won't have much of an effect if at all versus the change in the exchange rate. And we know right now that Iraq has a mixed economy. So there's private sectors, but also a lot of state-ran businesses. Okay? So if they move to a market economy, then the job of the government is just really just to oversee everything that's going on and make sure that uh, everybody's rights are protected. Anyways, you guys, let me know what you think. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. I'll catch you later. I'm out.